Greetings, sir, people. This is your cult personality, Tune Critic's name, Tune's name of my game. You know the drill by now. I know that I haven't really been posting as much actual content, and most of the videos have been floating over from Pacific PonyCon and uh, PonyCon NYC, which will soon be coming up. I apologize for that. I've had a very long backlog of videos and also writing stuff that I need to take care of, and there's been a lot of um, personal things that have been going on that... Um, have been a little stressful to deal with, mostly with um, getting things situated uh, for college later this year, which is going to be uh, interesting to get back into to like in a finish my degree. But anyway, uh, this video, I'm not doing this to jump on the bandwagon, even though that seems like what most people are. You see all these hashtag WTFU, where's the fair use thing. So, well, I don't have a lot to say on the technical side, and I don't understand the business aspect of it. As much as I want to try to so I can avoid this sort of thing in the future I want to at least throw in um, my experience with uh, copyright and I guess how we can avoid that and how it affects uh, a lot of the analysis people so before um, I rebooted this channel this is not my original channel my original channel was Flamingo 619 that was back Oh god, like 2008, 2009-ish. I used to uh, make Thomas the Tank Engine redubs. I also used to make uh, Sonic PMVs and parody series and all that. And I, I had no idea really what copyright was. I was just making those videos as, looking back, a good experience to understand uh, video making and editing and audio editing and how to do all this other stuff. Granted, it, it's not my proudest work, but you want, you have to start somewhere, I think. And... I don't really regret it. I had fun with it, and if I hadn't done the redubs, I wouldn't have met um, uh, Will and Joey, you know, Dual Snader, who is formerly <laughs> Miss Oliver and Blossom, and Train Lord 476, who is now the Do the Dejostinator, clever name. <laughs> I wouldn't have met them, and I wouldn't have met so many other people. So, a lot of my older audiences carried over onto when I became Tune Critic. Now, I can recall. I was devastated by this. Uh, I can recall that I think it was when... I think after the Prime, for when me, Will, and Joey had made our uh, redubs, we had gotten like our best stuff out of the way, and we were just planning to unleash some new ones. And then I got a copyright strike on one of the older redubs. Now, I was confused by this, because this was like hit entertainment. Now... I had no idea really how to respond to that. I didn't understand the inner workings of like the copyright system. Now that I I understand a little bit more, but it really would have helped if I knew back then. So, um, it was I didn't really have a chance to react to it because the following day, from what I can recall, this was a years ago, but from what I recall, I got hit with two more right off the bat, and so many of my other videos were getting like knocked as well. I shouldn't say strikes, I should say claims. So I had to take down almost half of the videos on my channel that were marked. And then I had to take down even more. And then, before I could even, like, finish all that up, then I got hit with two more strikes. And I had no way of being able to even get into my channel to try and fix it. My channel just got pff, dead. And I couldn't do anything to stop it. And... I know it's not a big deal now, because it's like, oh, well, that's Thomas the Tank Engine redubs, or, oh, that's your old animated movie reviews. Well, see, that's what you get for using clips and such and such and such like that. I'm using that as an example, because that's how I, my first experience with copyright strikes went down. So I, I've, I've dealt with this before, and it wasn't pleasant. But I think from that, I was able to get better. Odd uh, segue into... Uh, I guess why, why, hey, I'm the Tune Critic, but I don't really do a lot of, um, reviews like, you know, Nostalgia Critic or, uh, all these other reviewers. Why I don't do that? There's been, I guess, sort of that fear. That fear that at any moment you could get taken down. And it's got me paranoid, you know? It's got a lot of people paranoid because... When it happened with Dr. Wolf, we realized, oh crap, we're not safe. And that's that's not good that we as a community, we don't feel safe from copyright, especially with how it's been 
I guess, more active now. Now, some people are probably going to say, oh, you're making such a big deal about it now. Why didn't you make a big deal about it then? Well, because then we kind of took that for granted, I think. We kind of just went with it and decided to see where it would go from there. But now that copyright's becoming a much stronger thing and people are seeing it as more of a threat, people don't really feel safe with uploading reviews with footage and we don't feel safe really from knowing in any second something could happen and that's that's not fair to us because well for me at least i want to like make more animated reviews but i'm worried that if i go anywhere near like movies like something will happen and i don't know really what i could do with video games because i'm not a video game reviewer I'm the Toon Critic because I love animated movies, and I want to try to go into different territories, but if I review something that isn't Disney or something else happens, I can get a copyright from, like, Universal or Viacom or something. I don't know how Mr. Ender deals with all this stuff, but I'm not him, and I'm, like, this is, while I'm making money off of this, this is not my, it's not, like, my primary thing, in a sense. I know that I know that sounds weird to say, but it bothers me that I feel limited by my work. I feel limited that I can't really include more in my stuff without really getting getting over the fact that that could happen again. And I don't want to lose that. I don't want to like lose you guys. I don't want to lose my channel due to that. That's not fair to anyone. When Dr. Wolf's channel got taken down, like, we all rallied and we sent emails and we were able to fix that. And that's Dr. Wolf. Imagine if that happens to, like, Josh Scorcher or Silverquill or KP or really any of the others. Or a and y or Golden Fox or Voice of Reason or even me. Like, we don't want to have to stop reviewing the show because someone's going to just come out of nowhere and, like, stab us in the back with like a nice a nice fresh copyright strike saying that right now though even though there's limitations we've learned to work around those limitations it hasn't been easy then again video making is not easy reviews are not easy what we do is by no means easy it's difficult it takes a lot of time and effort which is funny coming from me because oh i just sit in front of a camera and i just well I'm not going to use myself as an example. I'm going to use other people as an example because I'm not them. I'm Toon Critic. I'm just, I'm just a guy who just likes, you know, entertaining. So, um, getting back to my point though, we're not going to let that stop us. Be behind those limitations, it it's becomes a little bit, a little bit more challenging, in a way. But that's not going to stop us. And I don't think that should stop, that, that shouldn't stop us from doing what we love. And there is that fear in the background, but that's, that fear can't stop us either. So I know everyone is making a video about this, what you can do. If something happens to one of us, yeah, you send emails. You, we should send emails to copyright people and get this system fixed because from what I understand, it's just... It's not even with real people behind it anymore. It's just automated. And that should be changed. That's the one thing we should change. But granted, there's a lot of people that make videos. So it's hard to keep up. So that's probably why they just went with the automated system. Working on autopilot is not a good idea. I can say that to you right now. But what I can really say for you guys is don't let that fear take over. Do what you want to do, have fun with it, but don't let the fact that, oh, a copyright strike could hit you. If you have to fight against it, fight against it. Because <laughs> these people aren't going to be able to stop us. Nothing is going to stop us. We're going to keep getting back up no matter what. And you should do that too. So, at the end of the day, when it comes to copyrights, this is more than a hashtag, guys. Where is the fair use?